Hello, hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about synchronous up and down counter using system verilog. How to code? Um, how to code the design for the n bit n bit up and down counter and its coding? The output waveform from the EDI playground is what we are going to see today. Um, synchronous counter means it's a clock based counter. Um, it will get a control input which can decide whether the uh, counter need to be performed up counting or down counting. It requires extra combination circuit because we are using the additional control logic, either the up count or down count, and also there's a count enable is getting used, um, which will be uh, deciding whether the counter, when the counter can be enabled, right? Um, the n bit counter, that n is the number of bit we used to we use for counting. There is a three bit counter, four bit counter, five bit counter, right? If it's a three bit counter, two to the power three, which is equal to eight. That means it can count from 0 to 7. If it's a 4 bit counter, that means root to the power 4, 16, it can count from 0 to F. So, um, if you look at the waveform here, which I got from the EDA playground based on my design as well as the test bench, the test bench clock is what is used here. Um, and then there's a count enable. Uh, this is the output of the counter, which is like up counter here in this example, counting from 0 to 7. The reset is. Um, the reset uh, is always, uh, you know, initially start with zero and then it goes up to high. Once the reset is high, then the uh, design is started counting based on the count enable. Uh, the, the down count is a control bit used as a register here, which can use to count up or down count. So if it is set to zero, that means it will be down counting. If it is set to one, it will be up counting. The N is the parameter which is used to define number of bits. That means three means three bit counter, four means four bit counter r567 you can keep on going the output is the um, from the design and uh, the tb output is what you are seeing here right so if if you want to know how what is the counter really means like this is how this state diagram uh, explains it you start from zero if it's a three bit counter zero one two three four five six seven it will start counting in the um, in a in a um, incremental direction uh, whenever the, the, the whenever the up count is set, that means down count is um, zero, which means up count is set, which will count up. I, in case of down count is set to one, that means it started counting downwards. That means like you start from seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So that's the down counter how it work. Now let's go to the EDA playground. Let's look at the code and the waveform, and then how it works. Hello. Um, so we are in the EDA playground right now. Um, let's look at uh, the code and understand how to write a code for the up and down counter. Like I mentioned, it's it's a parameterized. That means like you can see the parameter n, which is used to define the number of uh, number of uh, the the bit that's supposed to be used to count three bit counter, four bit counter. That that n number of n is the number of bit. Uh, the parameter down count which if it is set to one, it will be down counting and the way it will be up counting. So we, we have reset, count, enable, clock and output as in and output has been defined. And we have the clock uh, at the positive of the clock. If reset is equal to, um, if reset is zero and down count is equal to one, then we are assigning some default value to the output. And if reset is equal to uh, zero and down count is equal to um, zero, then also we are assigning some default value to the output. And if the reset is equal to one, then if the down, down count is equal to one and count enable, there's a two control bit, count enable also set to one. That means out will be start decrementing. In case else, if the down count is equal to zero, that means um, we want to count up. So out will be like out plus one. So that's, uh, suppose if these two condition doesn't match, you know, default output will be, uh, output wouldn't be like increment or decrement. It'll be assigned with the default value. Uh, default output value. So that's the simple logic what has been written here. Um, now uh, let's see how the test bench could be, right? So test bench is the TB underscore count. We are defining the reset bar, count enable, and uh, you know clock, test bench clock, and test bench output, and connecting the count up down, um, the test bench module with the design module. So that connection is what is happening happening here. If we see n is equal to three, I'm defining the test bench as three. Down count is equal to zero. That means it has to count count up, and up down. Um, so this is the module 
um, which is uh, module name, which is like, you know, count connecting with the count up down that instance name. So reset count enable clock and output all are getting connected with the module count up down. Now initialize all the values. So after uh, 100 nanosecond, I'm resetting, setting the reset to one and count enable to one running for 700 uh, nanosecond and then finishing the test. Um, the clock is always like every 10 nanosecond, the clock would get inverted. So this is a way of generating the clock and uh, monitoring the output by using the dollar, mo dollar monitor, monitoring the timestamp and uh, test bench output and then the clock. And this is used to dump the uh, waveform. Okay, now let's see, let's run and see how this will work. Ta-da! Okay, if we look at the test bench output, we have, uh, you know, it is a uh, three bit counter because I said n is equal to three. See, n is equal to three, it's a three bit counter because n is equal to three, it is counting like zero to seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just keep counting. It'll be, you know, repeating in that order. And um, so until reset is high, everything you can see zero. Once the reset uh, bar is high, then the actual counter would start and count enable also has to be high, right? So that's the um, output. Let's just change the, I'm going to change the parameterization now. I'm going to keep this as one. That means I want to keep it as a down count. Um, I'm setting as a down count. It's a three bit down counter now. Let's see how that uh, simulation output look like. Okay, ta-da. Okay, so if you look at the output, the test bench output, it is starting from seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. 7654321 so it's a three boot counter we start doing the down counting now let's try one more thing i want to do the four bit that means it is uh, it has to count from zero to f let's see how it looks at the waveform okay Okay, if you look at the, okay, I think I didn't do the test bench output variable connected to 0 to 2. I need to update it. Let me update the test bench output as a 0 colon 3 4 bit. Running again. Okay, so now if we see start uh, doing the down counting with the 4 bit, start with F, F, E, D, C, B, A, 9, all the way up to 0. Again, it will start counting downwards. So it's a 4 bit down counter, which is working as expected. Thank you.